What compressor do you use most? Um, one I'm using a lot at the moment is the SPL Iron. And the reason for that is it's a great sounding compressor. Um, um, it has a lot more than the hardware. I have the hardware in my other mastering studio. And it's a very, very good compressor. The hardware unit is, is really, really impressive. And I've directly compared the two. And they're, you know, they're 95% they're there. It's pretty much there. And the plug-in sounds incredible. And um, I use the plug-in because it is a very simple plug-in to use. You can get a great sounding uh, compression sound instantly just by turning the threshold and anybody that uses the hardware will tell you that you can literally set that hardware up and then just dial in the amount of threshold you need and then with some slight tweaks especially in mastering um, and the plugin's no different really you can set the plugin up nicely how you want it turn the threshold up get a great sounding um, compression and then dial things in a little bit more to taste. Um, the reason I use the the I so I use the Plugin Alliance SPL iron, and um, I love the GUI look on it, and um, I love how it lays out onto the S4, um, and I can get get physical hands on control of the plugin really really well. Um, but it also has the um, the Brainworks signature section which gives you the mid side the headroom the side chain uh the stereo width and that being in it as well uh comparing it to other compressors that adds a little bit more to it so it's not just the compression you've now got built-in stereo widening you've got a mono maker so it does have a lot more it brings a lot more to the table than just the compressor um, the other compressors that I use a lot, I use the SSL native channel strip and I use the compression in that a lot. And that mainly because that is my, um, so I'll use the SPL iron more over buses and then the SSL channel strip I will use on individual channels. Um, and the main reason for that is I'm used to working on a SSL summing console. Um, I'm used to working with the SSL EQs and compressors. So naturally I gravitate towards the SSL channel strip because I'm used to it and I know how it sounds. I know how it works. And realistically using a native plugin um, with the hands-on control of the S4, you feel like you're on an SSL console and you really do. And you do get a great sound like you <coughs> would on an SSL console. Um, and the SSL compressor is really, really good. Um, what other compressors do I use? Um, it's, I mean, the, the iron and the, the channel strip are the two that I'm using a lot at the moment. Um, the fab filter compressor, I mean, I use that sometimes. Um, I find the fab filter compressor is really good for vocal. It's got a great vocal algorithm that, that, that sets, um, a really good vocal, uh, compression. And I find that to be very useful, uh, just for vocal. I tend not to use it for anything else. I don't, I don't particularly like it as a compressor for drums or anything like that. Um, another great one for drums is the G bus compressor. I use that a fair bit over, um, a drum bus. Um, that gives you a very, um, <coughs> instantly satisfying drum compression, uh, very punchy, very tight, uh, great sounding drums, uh, turn the attack right the way up, the release right the way down and, um, set the threshold so just flicking in and you'll you'll notice a really really nice compression sound i see a lot of people on drums with very fast attacks and uh, then they ask why the g bus compressor sucking the life out of their uh, 
their drums um turn your attack right the way up so you've got a very very slow attack uh and then just get the threshold to flick in and it sounds amazing and i the thing with that is um i i personally find that you learn you learn where i've worked on the g bus compressor uh such a lot um you kind of when you get on to a actual analog piece of hardware you learn the hardware so much faster than you ever would a plugin um you really learn how to use that plugin uh through the hardware and i have done that um over many many years and it does really really work um and the g bus compressor is amazing and it's great sounding compressor um and in the plugin format the SSL native version is really good. 